Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to RoboCop. So the last time we were here, we went after an arcade owner who was pushing drugs on kids. We found this guy who was a police informant, and now we're here to go ahead and return a stolen watch to a lost police officer's family. So, if you guys find and enjoy this channel, this content, and my goofy nonsense, any and all engagements you guys leave helps me out tremendously. I'm trying to get these videos to 100 likes, so if you can help me with that, that'd be fantastic. If you guys leave a like, a dislike, hitting the bell icon, or even leaving a comment, that helps tremendously with the algorithm. Helps our community grow. If you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for our Discord. And if you guys think I've earned it, a subscription would be awesome. With that said, let's go ahead and get back to this. The so load screens are a little weird with this game, I've noticed. It's... Apartment 21. It's either they, uh... Oh, man, my hands are sweaty. You take a while or they don't... into a drug-related withdrawal. Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just... Is it? Deep breath. Is he following me? This. Oh, yeah, he is. He's just really slow. Oh, Robocop. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. At least, she's, at least she's nice enough to listen. Oh, no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you gonna steal? Uh, funny you should say that. Aw. Oh, the poor guy's actually trying to do the right thing. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. Uh, let's see. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Okay, so I can tell you exactly what's going on. The torch heads are kid, well, stealing dead bodies. They're cutting them open and pumping them full of drugs to use them to, sh uh, I was say sheep. No, uh, what's that term? Basically, they're using the bodies to store drugs. That's what they're doing. They're using it to. Smuggle, that's it. They're smuggling drugs with dead bodies. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances. Even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole! Constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. Salt of the earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I can understand why she's mad at him. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know. <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should... Again, this is Detroit. In his britches. When is the street safe? I make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. Ah, there he is. 
That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. Alright, cool. So, how much you want to bet we're going to find this kid in trouble? Like, he's going to be doing drugs or something? We're going to be like, hey, kid, drugs are bad. What are you doing? We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? We are going to remind Gail. There we go. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. Uh... I'm an ankle breaker, too. Uh, your conduct is... Okay. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. Oh, I'm sure they love that. I see a couple of drawings over there. Uh, oh, I'm sure everybody wants to be a police informant. Independent News 14. In this issue. Extraterrestrial marketing. Another commercial stuffed with subliminal messages is being filmed behind the courthouse. They won't fool us again. River littering trend. Or is it just a cover story to feed the sea monsters lurking just below the surface? Signs? Interstellar painting? Their names, oh sorry, interstellars paint their names on a building around the laundromat. That is how they make, they will take ownership of this entire town unless we stop them. Ah, there's more over there. Are we jaywalking? Bro, do you see any cars nearby? Stop it, don't worry about it. I should be fair, I don't think anybody really has enough money to drive a car anyway, but, you know. Print size seven. That's got to be his. As I figured, probably ran here. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like Nuke. Nuke lets you see that. Oh, never mind. Speaking of, oh, it's chalk. They threw out the chalk here. Must have found something interesting. I feel bad for whoever owns that truck because the parking brake just was destroyed. What the fuck? Gunshots? That was close. We better hurry. Do it! Come on, and him. Oh, that's great. Kid's playing with a gun. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops! I don't wanna go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Oh! Whoa! And this is why you don't leave kids with guns. What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. 
I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not going to happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Exactly. So, oh, I'm going to be the one that shoots first. So you're going to get involved in gang activity? Sit down. No. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes... strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in Damn. vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that was the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See. I find it funny how the subtitles just call him kid and not Daniel. It would make sense to just call him kid if we didn't know his name, but at this point they could call him Daniel. By giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's yeah, he's just a troubled kid. He didn't do anything bad. Well, you told my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Alright, so we gotta go to the slaughterhouse and see if we can find our buddy. I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. Alright, cool. I mean, so far, I'm really loving this. This is a really long demo, too. Like, a lot of demos I've played are usually like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes max. I'm already at this point at an hour and a half. Like, damn. Never mind, there you go, that's the end of the demo. So, this is the end of the main quest in the demo. Thank you for playing. You could still explore a city and complete side quests. So, yeah, you can't proceed past this point. You're locked in. You can explore the city, you can see what's what. We can go ahead and do a little side quest if there's anything left. Do we have any side quests? We actually have a bunch of side quests to do, so let's go see if we can find them. Ben's auto? Where is that? Alright, it's over here. So yeah, this is the end of the demo, so... Yeah, I'd say the demo is a good hour and a half long. If you do all the side quests, you do the main story. Main story is maybe an hour, but again, we're talking a demo. This is not the full game yet. So, I don't know exactly when the full game comes out. But this game definitely has some quality of life issues that they need to fix, like the lagging. That's weird. That definitely needs to get addressed. But apparently we need to talk about a stolen vehicle over here. Hello, sir! Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently, but I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search? So, just going to let you guys know, this game releases the a like. full release of Robocop Robo will be here November 2nd. All the, damn time? the standard price of the game is 50 bucks, but there is an Alex Murphy edition that comes with more cosmetics and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, just cosmetics, and that's going to be 60 bucks. But the base game is 50, which 
Honestly, not bad. Not bad, all considering. Citizen, I would like to inform you that knowingly delaying an investigation is classified as a felony. Yada, yada, yada. I don't have all day to listen, nor do I understand this bureaucratic jargon. Would you like to call your lawyer and have him explain it to you? You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. You forget who I am, dude. All right. Oh, really? Do I have any skill points for that? No, I don't. Various tools irrelevant to the case. So you do need skills in order to better your... What you call it? Your investigation. Irrelevant to case. All right. God damn it. And I don't have any skill points to do any of this, so that sucks. He did it again. Ben, I'm off tomorrow. I, uh, I can't speak. I'm off tomorrow, but this can't wait. I think Scott's at it again. You want to help that boy like you helped me and the others. I get it, but I'm still on parole. I can't be involved in any legal shit, and Scott doesn't care about it. I saw him hiding something in his locker. He looked over his shoulder about a hundred times like he was stashing those stolen radios there. You better check it out, or we might get in trouble. Jay. Ooh. Ooh. You're in trouble. See, I told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. I don't know if legally that works. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. Like, I don't know if legally you can say that. Like, alright, well, yeah, you are the owner. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being, where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swung by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Alright. Oh Tell shit, I didn't mean to skip that. Right, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back. It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. How do you help a kid like this? This is somebody who keeps getting into trouble, but apparently he does his job well. So it's like, eh... Uh... I get what he's trying to say. He's just trying to help this kid out, keep him off the streets. I get what he's trying to do, but it's it's one of those things where it's like, is it enough? Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. That's what I'm saying. He's just trying to do right by the kid. That is all for now. Hey, make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. Oh, oops. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, oh.
Who's there? Oh, it's only you. Alrighty, knock knock. Hmm, alright, nobody's home. Alright. This place is still being worked on, it seems. Oh god. I messed up good. Hey bud, how you doing? You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Uh... Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit, it was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. I mean... Oh God! It must be those thugs! We're dead! No one is gonna save us! If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Alright, let's go bring law and order. Hello? Anybody home? Yes, hi, I'm your mechanic. Oh, shit. It's the metal kit. Kill that freak! Let's go! Don't worry, they won't take revenge on Ben, because they're all dead. You did it! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Uh, okay, yeah, who's responsible? Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Jesus. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. That's why they wanted it. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. So again, he's just a dumb kid who made mistakes. Estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. What backup? I am the backup. I'm RoboCop. I don't need backup. Shit, the bad guys are gonna need backup when I show up. No hard feelings, huh? Yo, kid, boss was not impressed with what you did with that SUX, but he's a reasonable guy and will let you keep your nimble fingers as long as you show up in the chop shop before nightfall. Alright, let's go find the chop shop. It was easy to find this place. Hello? 
Hello, gangbangers. I'm here to say hello. Who wants to see how a machine gun works? Do I have to actually scan this? Okay. I mean, I could just, you know, break it, but okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god, this gun is so much fun. There's just something so entertaining about chewing up bad guys with an LMG. I thought I killed that guy. Excuse me. Somebody shooting at me still? Nope. Okay, we're good. Knock, knock! Alright, who's next? I mean, these guys pretty much have small arms. I'd love to know where bad guys get grenades. Like, where is gangbangers and hoods getting grenades? Like, bro, really? Ah, here we are. Really? So can I not complete the objective because I can't... Uh, where's deduction? So I need level 2 deduction in order to... Can I respec a... No, I can't. Damn it. So, what else can I do here? Oh, there's a room over here. Hi! Oh, the game just crashed. Alright, um... Well, I gotta fix that. But, oh, wait, no, this is a demo. Ah, uh, okay, so because it crashed here, uh, it's not gonna pick up where I left off. I'm gonna have to restart the whole demo. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're leaving RoboCop for now. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. As always, enjoy this channel, this content, and my goofy, nonsensical nonsense. Any and all engagements that you guys leave helps me out tremendously. Likes, dislikes. Hitting that bell icon and leaving a comment all helps out with YouTube's algorithm and it helps our community grow. If you think I've earned it, a subscription would also be awesome and I would appreciate that. If you want to come hang out with me, link description below for our Discord. And I'm trying to get these videos to 100 likes each. That is our channel goal and I want to see if we can hit those goals. So if you guys want to help out, that would be fantastic. See you guys around the next one. Thank you everyone so much. Love you all. Have a fantastic day.